How you like that, huh? <laughs> Soy dogs don't like pipes, guys. I thought BTS. Oh. Die, my. Okay, you ready? Peace and love. Yay! <laughs> thank you. Peace and love, everyone. You down with TTT? Downtown pickup with my beautiful Thai lady driver, who's a young 66 years old. Very experienced driver. Don't worry about me, guys. Don't die, don't die. Mana, oh, where's Mana? Yeah. You can watch my video on Teacher Thomas Carmen. Okay. guys good morning triple t here let's go for a cruise shall we hope everyone is doing well i'm just leaving the house here at the northern end of pala On the cruise down here to the uh, the open mic, show you uh, the route. Maybe see a few things along the way. Let's go. So this is the main road. You take a right, you go out to the Tesco Lotus Mall on Highway 3, Sukhumvit Road. You take a left, you go straight to the roundabout at Pala. you guys a few things about this area right here on the left is a brand new housing development coming in it's one of many guys there's quite a few going in Right here guys check this place out right Estero Sirisa Sirisa so they just put this new uh, office in here not too long ago and they started breaking ground just a few short weeks ago over here where the housing projects gonna be let's check it out Take a left right here. Right there, guys. See the sign? There you go. 
is stereo. Look at some of this construction. It's going to be a huge housing project, guys. And these are not uh, not small homes either. And they've got a lot of land to work with. So you can see some of the houses are up already. I mean, they don't jack around, guys. So this is in the Pala area. You can see how close it was to my house. No edits, live, live video for you. So you get an idea. Now, ideally, I don't like to take the big bike on the dirt road, but I got to show you around. So let's see if we can pull it off. This loose sand can be dangerous, guys. I don't recommend it, unless you've got some experience on a bike. Don't recommend it. So you can see how much land there is out here. It gives you the idea. So when I tell you that we opened a business in an area that's booming and not really dependent very much on international tourism, I show you some of this kind of stuff, I think you'll get the idea of what I'm talking about, right? So fairly nice sized houses, obviously gonna be very modern. Modern, I don't know if they'll have the smart house technology, but anyway, guys, that gives you one little glimpse into an area right here by our house in between us and the open mic bar and grill, right? really really got a lot of development a lot of road construction uh, putting in brand new four-lane roads everywhere that connect to the Utapau airport here in Bonchong and uh, then the airports getting expanded with a brand new runway so you're gonna have international destinations to the UK America and a lot of destinations that you previously had to transfer over to Suwannapoom Airport BKK International in Bangkok and now you won't have to do that. You'll be able to fly right in here to Pala Banchang. So that gives you an idea of one of the little areas. And I mean, it's gonna be a massive, massive housing area. Very huge. And I, I bet they'll have a clubhouse and pool and all that. But guys, this is just one. I, I can't show you all of the development because it'd be way too much of a vlog. But I just want to kind of give you a taste for some of the stuff that's going on. This building across the way is not very old. That's where you have a business down below and you uh, you live up above, right? So you got housing and a nice shop down below. All right, so let's cruise on down, see if we can see some more, more development going on. All right, all right, all right, all right. As my, my friend Matthew McConaughey would say, all right, all right, all right. Another, another housing area just on that road to the left. I haven't been down there and looked at that one yet. You can see a lot of these signs of new housing going in, right? We got him, we got him, don't worry. Beautiful area, beautiful area to live. Now right here on the left is a brand new set of apartments. Chavia, Chavia. Service departments, guys. Long-term rentals. See the building on the right there is brand new. And the other one's not much older, but they literally just completed the one on the right. I'll have to check back in with them and see if they have any units available. I bet they do, unless they were already booked out while they were building this second one. But so this is all brand new development, guys. Right? There's a lot of stuff going on, trust me. 
Nice building, eh? Look at that. Very nice. So, yeah, I'll come back. Uh, I've done one video before on this apartment, but they didn't have any units available for rent, so I didn't take a tour of the apartments. But that was before this other second building was completed. So now they may have some units open, and I'll, I'll bring that to you, because those are some nice serviced apartments right there. Let's roll. So now some of you might, might begin to recognize some things. Here's the Polygoon Resort right here on the right. Excellent place to stay. The markets, uh, pharmacy there on your right, okay. This uh, two-story building, the orange color right here on the right. The orange one right there, that's all brand new. Again, live down below, have your business above. There's a CJ convenience store, that's a new convenience store. Got really good coffee in there. Here's the 7-Eleven. Got a nice big parking area for a 7 in Thailand, which is kind of nice. This 7's not very old either. I've talked to expats that have lived here for several years, and they say this road used to be just a little narrow gravel road not many years ago. So now you're probably beginning to recognize Pala Rib House right there on your right. My friend Mike from Denver, Colorado. Then on your left is the 24 Cafe here which is another nice business. So yeah, the rib house is awesome. You guys like barbecue ribs, stop in and see Mike. So yeah, we're gonna take a right right here. Right there at the rib house, right? And you guys can see the open mic right here on the left, right? There's the open mic. Uh, this grandma and grandpa store on the right is fairly new and a really, really nice store. There's the open mic. We got a new business right beside us called The Hamburglar. He's selling the crap out of hamburgers and french fries, doing well. And here's a Mikasa bar right here on the left. Really nice place, good atmosphere, very well decorated. Bar and restaurant. Here's a health promoting hospital here on the left. So, you know, if you got an injury, something small, or you need shots or that kind of thing, that's what it means by health promoting. It's not a hospital that has an emergency room or anything like that, but just general uh, medical needs, they have that. Now here's a sign on the right, see this? I haven't been back in here. It's a new housing development, development as well. Well, let's turn in here and see what it is. I haven't been back in here, but I've seen their sign several times. Now look at here, guys. This all new development right in here. And what are they, townhouses or what? I'm not sure. It says 3,800 baht. I can't read Thai, so I don't know all the details. Well, look at that. Look at those, huh? So if you need something more affordable, townhouse style, right? Two stories. Low maintenance, look at this guy, huh? All brand new, all brand new. Very nice. Look at that guys, huh? There's a lot of units in here, so I need to stop and check on these. Those are basically townhouses, yeah? But you know, a lot of people don't want a yard and maintenance, but they do want their private parking, right? Still got more being built. And a lot more room back in here, guys. So here you go, look, see? Not bad, man. I bet very, very affordable. We'll have to check, have to check on that. Hey, got soy dogs chasing us. Look at this, guys, more development going on back here. 
That's what I'm saying. When you just drive the main roads into Bon Chong and stuff, say you're going on to Rayong City, you're not going to see all of this development. You really got to hit the back roads and kind of cruise around, right? And then you begin to see, oh my God, man. Yeah, come on, chase me. Come on, I got some exhaust fumes for you. Pretty nice, huh, guys? So I'm not going to get all the details on these units today, but I will check back on these. I'll, I'll do a vlog from here, and we'll get the details. Obviously, they're rentals. There's a sales office as well, so for sale or for rent. I've seen signs saying both. So, so again, that's why I just wanted to bring you this motor vlog of the development, some of the development, and just keep it rolling live. So whatever I end up with when I get to the beach here, guys, is what the vlog will be, right? But again, I'm just showing you a small glimpse of stuff that's going on. There's a lot more, a lot, lot more right here in the Pala area. This is a really nice road, right? This is the road that goes right past the open mic. So look at the size of these homes and stuff out here. This one on the left got a few big, huge guard gate. Look at the size of this home, guys. You're talking, uh, you know, over a million dollar home here. Very nice, huh? And I like this uh, three-story one here on the right. Right there. They've got a nice view of the ocean from that upper third story, I guarantee you. But there's a lot of individual housing and stuff. A lot of brand new on this one right here on the left. See this privacy fence right here? It's a brand new big home. Brand new. Another one being built right here. There's another one back in there. See that? Look at that. Big old homes, guys. Big old yards. Big money. Big money. So, you know, this kind of just gives you a, a summary, just a little overview of a few spots right here at Pala. So hopefully the guys that that uh, don't understand uh, don't understand the difference between an area where we opened a bar and grill and opening a bar and grill in one of the tourist areas like Patia or Phuket, right? You can see the difference, right? See what's going on here. This is not an area that's dependent upon international tourism. There's a, Rayong province is the most affluent province in all of Thailand. The, the highest per capita income of all of Thailand. And it's largely due to the industrial complex with all the oil and gas refineries and stuff. So, but there's a lot of industrial engineering in there, not just with the energy sector, but lots of, lots of stuff. And they got big steel plants and everything in Rayong. So. So now we're out here on Pala Beach Road itself. And right here on the left, guys, this is all new. This uh, private gated community right here. Huh? They're like little individual townhouses. I don't know if there's any uni units available, but, but even this road is a new road. It's not that old. There used to be an old, like I say, a dirt, a dirt road. Uh, the guys that have lived here for a while told me these were just old, narrow dirt roads going down to Pala Beach. So, yeah, it's a lot, a lot of stuff going on here. I like this ghost building on the right. Obviously, somebody had a big investment and ran out of money, but check it out. Ain't that cool? Be a good investment, guys. Show you how quick, how close you are to the beach. There's another resort on this road going to the right back in there. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't even driven into. There's another left turn right up here, and there's more development going on on that on that road. So that'll take you the back route to the uh, roundabout and back out to make the circle at Pala, or at the open mic. There's a brand new road here on the right. It's a brand new road. And this connects to the Navy property uh, of the Utapau Airport straight ahead. So they're talking about opening up this side of the airport after they're done with the expansion, right? The new runway, a new terminal. So you'll actually be able to enter and exit the airport from the Pala side. That's what I'm hearing. So 
that might be why this they put this brand new cement road in here. And there's probably going to be a lot more development going on down there. But yeah, if you stayed straight across, you just come to that roundabout, take a left, and go right back up to the open mic and and uh, the Pala Rib House. So, kind of gives you an idea of where you're at. And here's our beautiful Pala Beach. So you got a nice resort right here on the guy all right guys. The Pala Resort. Right here. Walking distance to the beach. And look at it, ain't it just cute? Savari Cop. And they've got restaurants and everything here, right? So come stay here at the Pala Resort if you want a nice quiet beach early morning. Uh, yeah, they've got some food and coffee and sales office up here, right, with a lot of snacks and things you can buy right in there. So yeah, pretty cool little place, the Pala Resort. I'll put the link in the description box. So you come out of the resort there, right? We're right back on Pala Beach Road. And it dead ends right into the the park, the municipal, the municipal park. Why we like the beach so much. The seafood restaurant right here on your left with all the seating right out there with the beach view seating in the shade. We're gonna take a right, go back down in here. Now guys, this is a Sunday, so you're gonna see a lot of tags from uh, Bangkok. And what little bit of tie I can read is uh, license plates, so I can read Kroom Tep. But through the week, it's never going to be this busy. But on our on the weekends, these are all domestic travelers and locals, right? But a lot of people come in from Bangkok and Chonburi and Rayong City, and that uh, just like the the big, large size of Pala Beach here. So now you see all these green awnings on these buildings. Those are all individual vendors. Some of them are restaurants, some of them are beach equipment, right? But when you park here on the left in front of one of these buildings, you're taking their parking spot, so that means you're gonna eat at their restaurant, their, their uh, umbrella cabanas and seating down there on the beach. So this is not public parking here on the left because it's connected to these uh, units, and you can see they're all numbered. So you got a lot of vendors and stuff for sale down here. And then after you get down in here, you get into the uh, free free zone where there are no vendors and you just bring your own stuff and set up and set wherever you want, right? And the free zone starts right here at the end of these uh, chairs and uh, umbrellas. Got car parking lot back in here. Now this is all open parking. It's not connected to any of the vendors. So just park anywhere in here when there's spots open. And trust me, during the week, you're almost alone down here. You're just with us local people that live here, right? That's all you're gonna see through the week. But I'm seeing, uh, yeah, there's Kroon Tep. Uh, Rayong. But yeah, you see a lot of Kroon Tep license plate, a lot of Bangkok, right? So this is all the free zone all the way through here. People just set up their hammocks and, and go for it, right? Bring your own picnic or buy from the vendors down here, whatever, right? You got mobile vendors too, so. And then right at the very end, there's a restaurant right here. And they've got their own seating and stuff. So at the end of the free zone is another restaurant. And we really like this restaurant. Good food, not expensive. So, and this road just dead ends. That's what's unique about Pala Beach. So you don't have any through traffic on your beach road, right? Now this is our local municipality, what they call a Tessabon. So this is the uh, sub-district of Banchong, the sub-district of Pala. This is the government building. So for our licensing for the bar and grill, uh, part of that was done through here. Uh, we communicate with them, you know, about uh, anything that needs to be done on, on their property, like the uh, sidewalks or overhead lighting, right? And we'll pay our taxes, uh, business tax, right? down here. So it's kind of nice to have a local office 
uh, where you don't have to go into the Bonchong City, you can just come down here to the Pala municipality, right? And they do have a tourist building too. Right here on your left is a tourist building. Right there. So uh, they've got a map and stuff over here to show you some of that. Great thing about motorcycles in Thailand, you just go wherever, right? Do a whip around here for you. There's a uh, toilets right there. Five baht, guys, five baht for the toilet. And they've got showers as well. So when you come off out of the beach. So here's the uh, tourist center, and it's not really staffed uh, much now because well, for obvious reasons, right? But you can see it's got a map of the Pala area, right? So, Tourist Service Center. So I'm sure this will uh, be staffed again once we get past the situation. And so you're not really gonna see any uh, foreign tourists here. Uh, there are no foreign tourists in Thailand, unless they're stuck here, but there might be uh, a lot of expats that live in Pattaya and the surrounding areas that would come down here. So when you see foreigners, that's usually what it is, right? But before, you used to get quite a few minivans that would bring people down from, say, Pattaya or wherever, right? And then, uh, yeah, you would uh, you would see a lot, a lot more. Uh, I've seen a lot of Scandinavians come down in here on minivans, right? So that's when that tourist center will be open. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the motor vlog today. I uh, just kept it rolling. Uh, might have to splice out a few things, but I wanted to kind of show you in real time some of the development in the Pala area. And I hope it puts your mind at ease as far as the local economy here, right? And so that you know we are in a booming area. It's uh, growing rapidly. Okay, guys, let's check out the beach. I had you mounted on the Kawasaki Vulcan 900 right here on the handlebars. So it's the first time I've tried this mount. Hopefully the footage is good for you. Let's go see the beach, shall we? So yeah, I'm trying to different angles of stuff instead of putting you on the helmet. Tried it on the handlebars today. We'll see how that footage works out. I've got different style of mounts and I can also use a gimbal. I've got a gimbal mount here as well. Check it out. So I just had you slipped into the GoPro mount, right? And guys, these are not Lazada or, you know, uh, secondhand knockoff GoPro. You gotta buy from the actual GoPro dealer to get the quality, quality mounts, right? But then I had this custom mount and you see the screw head here. I can actually screw uh, my gimbal on there and then mount uh, the camera in that. But the only problem with that is only good for slow speed, right? just for driving around and cruising. But I'm trying to give you different multiple angles, you know, on some of these motor vlogs. But anyway, yeah, we love this restaurant right here, guys. We well, see all of the free zone to the left. It's a long ways before you get to the uh, beach umbrellas and chairs where the vendors are up there. So there's a big area of free zone. So even, you know, I mean, on a Sunday, beautiful Sunday, weather's perfect. Uh, there's still no problem finding your own place to set up. But I highly recommend this restaurant, guy. I don't know the name of it, and I never could find a link for them or anything. But yeah, if you Google Google map Pala Beach, you know, and come all the way to the end, yeah, you'll find them. Really good, guys. Really, really good stuff. So yeah, there's quite a few people out enjoying in the beautiful Sunday. But I want to show you how long this beach is. Check this out. So this restaurant extends over here and this is their umbrellas. So if you're eating at the restaurant and you don't want to sit out here underneath the shade, they'll bring you right over here. You can set beachfront, right? But look how long this beach is, guys. And those hills in the distance there, that's the Satahit district of Chonburi province, right? So what a beautiful beach, huh? Look at the sand, nice and fine, nice and fine, right? Plenty of room, and uh, we like to come down here. You're looking directly west right there. The sun sets over that last hill on the horizon there, so you're looking di directly west. We like to come down here and take long sunset walks, right? 
So you see the concrete wall in the distance there, that's the beginning of the uh, Navy property. So you'll see a lot of uh, Navy cadets and sailors out here jogging on the beach, doing their exercise, right? But it's open to the public. It's not a secure area of the base, right? It's part of the Utapau Airport property that's all owned by the Navy. So yeah, there's actually some resorts and stuff up in here that you can stay. So it is open to the public, but look how far you can walk, guys. A little bit of a haze to the skies today, but what a beautiful day. Right? So I hope you enjoyed this video today, man. It just gives you an idea of what's going on in this area. And I hope that, that anybody that watched it will get it out of their head that all areas, all provinces of this kingdom are the same economically, that all of Thailand is depressed and uh, you know, no jobs, all that kind of stuff because of the lack of tourism. That is 100% true in the areas that are so highly dependent on that tourism, right? Just like in your home country, you've got cities that are international destinations and those hotels and resorts and all that kind of thing have been major impact, right? But then you've got your other towns that rarely see tourists, right? So their economy is, is locally driven, locally based. So this is an economic hub of Thailand with the industrial sector, right? So, so I think, you know, like I always say, the camera doesn't lie. I just gave you some snapshots of a little bit of development with this motor vlog today and then brought you right down here to the beach so you can get a good feel of what my life is like here. And that's what we try to do as YouTube vloggers. You know, we want to, we want to you know, bring you here with us, like embed you in our daily lives, right? It's not just about making a cool, entertaining video. It's about showing you what it would actually be like to live here. So you can see all Thai people out here on the beach having a great time here at Pala. Great place to swim, guys. Absolutely beautiful. The water is clean, guys, very clean. How would he cop? Oh, I like your hairdo. I like, same, same, huh? Same, same, you got same, same me, huh? You got same, same me. Same, same me. You say, hello. Say, uh, hello, America. 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 Oh, cop kung cop. Me sanook mai. Huh? Sanook mai. Sanook. Okay, having fun. Okay. Yindi ti dai rujak kun. Nice to meet you, okay? I like your hat. Look, same, same me, huh? Huh? Okay, thank you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, very good, very good. You want to go play in the water? Go, go. Bye, 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 bye. Go, 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 go. Oh, you. Oh, he have treasure. Dong? His name Dong? Oh, he has, oh, very nice. Okay, okay, bye-bye, bye-bye, thank you. If you notice, guys, uh, how Thai people dress when they go to the beach, very conservative, right? See young men in good shape, they don't even take their shirts off, right? It's not just because they don't want to be in the sun and get dark skin. That is part of it. But it's just also a very conservative uh, country, guys. Despite what you see in the inter entertainment areas, the country is very, very conservative. Look at how all these children are dressed for swimwear, right? You don't see any bikinis on Thai, Thai women very much, not in public. At private pool areas you do, right? But on public beaches, it's just, just not, not common, you know? It's the opposite of, uh, let's say, Rio de Janeiro, right? Rio de Janeiro, everybody knows you go get a Brazilian wax, right? Well, Thailand's the opposite of that, guys. Look at these Thai families. This is how they do it, guys, Thai style. Thai style. Bring you a beach mat, set her down, good to go. There's not gonna be any vendors bugging you, you know? You just chill out and relax. Bring your own hammock. Bring your dog. Is that Lizzie? Lizzie. 
Lizzie. Watch this, guys. This is my adopted beach dog. She, she doesn't know who I am yet. Lizzie, are you waking up? Huh? Are you OK? Huh? Are you OK? <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you in a while, huh? How are you doing? Huh? <laughs> ah, good girl. Good girl. I love you too. I love you too. Lizzie's a good girl. So we got her the collar and we uh, put the uh, Frontline Plus, uh, you know, insect killer on her and everything and, and take care of her. And then when the beach was locked down and there was nobody to give her food and fresh water, we brought food and fresh water to all the soy dogs down here every day. Oh, she's a good girl. Play dead. Play dead. 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 Good girl. She's so sweet. So anyway, guys, this gives you an idea. Huh? You want to go walking? Huh? No, I don't blame you. I'd lay in the sand, too, myself. So this is, this is how they do it, guys. It's freaking awesome. I love Thailand. Pamrak Kun Thai. So yeah, this is all the free zone. Hey, there you are. See Kiao. Well, good boy. I haven't seen you in forever, huh? You remember? Huh? This is see Kiao. See Kiao. Lizzie, good girl. Hey, what are you doing, boy? Hmm? Yeah, you remember us giving you food, huh? Good girl, Lizzie. See Kiao, how you doing, huh? Whoa, we haven't seen him in forever. The white one? See Kiao just means white color. So yeah, guys, beautiful, huh? All right, man, I know I've been rambling for a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video here. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a better understanding of the, you know, the complexities of local economics in different regions of Thailand, because I know Rayong is not exclusively the only area that's booming and expanding. There's many areas in Thailand that are booming and expanding, right? So you have to kind of separate those areas that are that are so visible and the ones everybody talks about, like Pattaya and Phuket and Koh Samui, right? And all the areas that are so highly dependent on tourism for their economy, right? And it's just not here. And uh, it's this area is just gonna continue to grow, guys. With the airport expansion, the high-speed train gonna connect right down here at Utapau Airport that'll take you to Bangkok on a high-speed rail. Uh, you know, just all kinds of housing, new road developments, uh, Rayong City's booming as well. So I hope that gives you a good idea of this development motor vlog, right? So you can see the map, right? Here's the Tesco Lotus Mall, right? This is the main Sukhumvit Road, Highway 3, right? Westbound towards Satihip, and then turn north to go to Pattaya, right? And then eastbound to Rayong City. So that's the main the main road and now we have the brand new motorway that's going to kick on right here right here you know right past tesco you're going to kick on the brand new motorway and go to bangkok or turn and go back east towards rayong so here's the mop to put area right not too far so this is all pala right all pala area and uh see we are right here's the school right here we are right here see there's the pala district government office right so we're right here you can see the beach, right? And then Pa Yun Beach is on this, on further that away. Here's that roundabout, right? And here, you uh, take this first left, right here. Right here. See that Pala Health Center, that promoting hospital, right there? So from the roundabout, you take that first left, and the open mic is right there. Open mic. This is our parking area right here. So that's the open mic, guys. Nice, nice area. And of course, we got big golf courses at the, the uh, Eastern Star Park Golf Course. So it's a big golfing community as well. So that gives you an idea, guys. They do have staff in here today. I didn't see them sitting in there. But yeah, we got ladies sitting in here. So you know, you got an air conditioned area if you want to come in and chill out and get some information from some, some of the folks here. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, man. Sorry for rambling too much, but I think you get the point of the, of the vlog today. And Look, I don't make these vlogs because I've got people that question what I'm doing and why would you open a bar? That's not the reason I make them. It's not a counter argument. It's just to show you all of my supporters, you know, we don't put the cart before the horse. We know what we're doing, right? 
there's a risk in everything in life, but location, location, location. I would have never opened a bar and grill right now in Pattaya or Phuket or any of the areas that are so depressed economically, right? But this area is not, it's not. Probably had the least impact right here than anywhere in the country. So I think you get the point, right? All right, peace, love to everyone. Remember, be happy. Say uh, hello, America, America, America. Oh, Kakun Ka. Ni Sanuk Mai. Huh? Sanuk Mai. Sanuk. Okay, having fun. Okay. Yindi Tirai Rujak Kun. Nice to meet you. Okay? I like your hat. Look, same, same me, huh? Huh?